I'm going to get you all join me to do some Tai Chi for health exercise. So if you have space, or if you wish to, you can stand up next to your chair. Otherwise, you can sit on your chair. We're going to start with just a couple of warm-up exercises. So we're going to just stretch our neck first a little. So bring your hands up slowly and smoothly. And then turn your palm to face you. And as you bring your hands close to you, I'd like you to gently push your chin back. This exercise the neck muscle. And then push your hands up very gently and slowly and slowly, slowly bend your neck. Let's do that again. Slow, smooth, breathing in as you come up. Push your chin back very gently and slowly. And then push your hands out slowly and down. And let's do the third time. We do everything three times. Breathing. Turn and push your chin back gently. Hands out and down. Then we're going to stretch our spine. So I get you to bring your hands in front as though you're holding a large beach ball. And let's imagine the ceiling is falling down. We're going to bring our bottom hand up all together, hold up that ceiling, and push down the other hand. Wonderful. Now bring your hands back to carry that beach ball, and change your hand, hold up the ceiling. Gently stretch, move slowly, carrying the ball again, and visualize your spine being gently stretched from inside. Let's carry a ball again and stretch. And one last time, carry a ball and stretch. Okay. Next, we're going to exercise our knee. So if you are sitting down, you just move and visualize you doing it like me. But if you're standing up, what I'd like you to do is make two gentle fists beside your hip. Bend your knee just a little bit and take a little step in front of you. And then gently move forward and punch forward. Come back. And we're going to do the other foot. Bend your knee slightly. Little step. Punch forward, very gentle and smooth. And if you're sitting down, you just visualize you doing that. Imagine I'm sitting down. And the other side. And let's do the last time. Step forward and gently punch forward. Wonderful. One more time. Step and punch. Okay, let's do a little shake. So we're going to do a couple of Tai Chi movements. I want you to know how easy it can be. You can spend your lifetime learning Tai Chi like many of us do and get a lifetime enjoyment. But you can also learn a little bit of Tai Chi and it will give you some benefit. And then when you get to like it more, you learn more and you get more benefit. But even if you spend five minutes a day, you're going to get something really worth that five minutes for you. So let's start with feet parallel, roughly the width of your shoulder. And I'd like you to visualize your body as though it's a string. And you gently stretch both sides of that string 
and just gently stretch it so it's standing upright but not being tense. Then you're going to bring your hands up very, very slowly and breathe in. And then you're going to bring your hands towards your chest with the finger pointing up and very gently bend your knees. So now I'd like you to focus on your posture. Again, think of your body straight as though the string is now from here to the head. And you gently stretch that string. And when you clench your mind, when you're ready, we're going to open these hands, open up to about the width of your shoulder. And then you bring it together back to as close as you can without touching. Let's do that again. Open up to roughly shoulder width and close as far as, as you can without touching. Now I'd like you to visualize there is a magnetic force in the center of your palm. When you open, you need to Ooh, very gently against that magnetic force. And when you put it together, you need to push very, very gently against that magnetic force. Then I'd like you to breathe in gently as you pull those hands apart. And then breathe out as you gently squeeze the hands together. Let's do that one more time. Gently breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly. Now I'd like you to imagine if somebody on the left side of you sort of throw a little punch towards you, you're going to just bring your hands up and block it and then you say to him, let's not do that, let's be friends. So that's easy, let's do that. Let's start from the open close posture and then imagine that little punch coming up. We just give it a block and we say, hey, let's be friends. And come back and just to calm yourself down, we do an open, breathe in, <laughs> close, breathe out. And then we're going to try to do the same with the other side. Block push, come back and use your magnetic force, open, breathe in, close, breathe out. And then when you put your hands out, very, very gently, slowly, and as your hands goes down, it slowly, slowly stand up. And have a little shake. So what you have done is four Tai Chi movements. You've done a commencement movement. You've done an open and close Sun style. You also do a fair lady working in the shuttle. And then you do the closing movement. So you can see Tai Chi can be very easy to learn. So what makes people learn and do it for their lifetime? Because even though it's very simple, it has so much depth that as you do more, you find more interesting inner meaning. Like an onion, as you peel one layer, there's another layer. And it gets more interesting. And that is what keeps people doing Tai Chi. Now a health exercise only works if people like it, enjoy it, and continue to do it. And I propose to you, Tai Chi for health can be just such a perfect exercise for health. Thank you very much.